Hello, thank you for visiting the residency of the Embassy of Colombia. I would like to say hello to the people of, of Koreanet and welcome. This is uh, an opportunity to talk about this special year, 60th anniversary between Korea and Colombia. Uh, Colombia sent troops 72 years ago to the Korean War, the only Latin American country that officially sent troops uh, around two values, democracy and freedom. Colombia and Korea began bilateral relationship in 1962. After that, a lot of missions between Colombia and Korea. First mission, former president of Colombia, Virgilio Barco, 1987, uh, former President Samperi in 1995, continue President Juan Manuel Santos 10 years ago, and last year, the president, current president of Colombia, Ivan Duque. Uh, with the visit of my president Duque last year, the relation changed between Colombia and Korea. The, the presidents adopted one joint declaration under one name, with the new relationship is around inclusive innovation, sustainable and digital. And we have new chapters in this relationship. One chapter around, for example, smart farms, agriculture, uh, uh, rural development with digital innovation, a bioeconomy. Colombia is the second country with the most biodiversity in the world. Korea has the technology and the education. We need to we need to try to find the opportunities around this. Another chapter around creative industry, and finally, for example, another chapter of science and technology. Uh, Colombia is is a, a, a country in in Latin America with the objective to establish better relationships with Korea. With, with the objective to, to, to mean the door of Korea in Latin America. We, we believe we need to continue promote the, the sector of infrastructure. Colombia uh, has one agenda around metros, Metro Medellin, Metro Bogota, uh, routes, uh, energy projects. I would like to invite the Korean companies to participate in this process. Mm -hmm. Korea has high level of quality infrastructure. Second, we need to continue in another new, new MOUs. 12 MOUs was signed last August. We need to move, for example, the agricultural sector, you know, the science and technology and creative industries. Now, for example, in June, some companies from Korea will visit Colombia, CJ Entertainment, Megabox. At the end of this year, for example, Megabox, Megabox and Watermelon will inaugurate a new movie with Korean people, Korean staff in Korean, and the name is Bogota. One movie around the migration at the end of 80s, last century. I would like to I would like to say Colombia is the leader in creative industry now. Mm -hmm. Colombia has platforms, if tax incentives and finance incentives mm -hmm. in, in, in creative industry. It's a leader in cine, in video games mm -hmm. and music. And Korea too. Yeah. But Colombia need to establish that relationship to learn how can manage of that context in digital way. Uh, Colombia and Korea this year uh, organized two book fairs. Number one, in April, last April 19 to May 1st, uh, Bogota Book Fair, Philbo, Korea was the special guest, honorary special guest in Colombia, with the participation of 
six writers that, that had the opportunity to visit Colombia, 100 books in Spanish. A, a former General Secretary of Korea, General Secretary of the United Nations, Ban Ki-moon, went to Colombia to inaugurate his book, Results, in, in Book Fair. Uh, but in June, Seoul will organize the Seoul Book Fair, and Colombia will be the special guest, honorary guest here. Around 17 writers will visit Korea. Uh, you, the Korean people can find literature from different regions of Colombia, uh, around poems, around novels, around, for example, from uh, literature from indigenous territories. Uh, I would like to invite to, to Korea to visit this book fair in Coex between June 1st to June 5th. I would like to introduce Colombia Creative, Diverse, and Fraternal. If you visit Colombia, a ride to Colombia is as to arrive to a continent. Why? It is the only country in Latin America with seven regions, 35% of the land, Amazonian region, Orinoquia region, Andean region with, with three lines of mountains, Caribbean region, Chocó Geographical region, another special strategic jungle in Latin America, and obviously the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean. In that way, you can show in the book fair this diversity. You can, you can obtain books, for example, of Gabriel Garcia Marquez of the Caribbean region, the consistent of this Nobel Prize. You can feel the Amazonian region, the Pacific region. You can find authors from all these ecosystems. I believe, uh, uh, I believe uh, uh, with the, this special guest, you can find the, the, the diversity of the human talent.